this is very cute. <laughs> yeah. By the way. Fuck it. Anyway, that about Ruby. Before I get, because I keep going. Because I'm already excited. I'm already excited about about, about this All thing right, over I think, here. I think the video game is being placed on hold for a minute while we yell about Ruby. For, well, this we is a, well. Actually, you did yell a lot about it. I. True. It's not often that I yell at something just from your description. Yeah, that's true. I'll use the metaphor again. Yeah, uh, I, I, I. So Richard described the season to me. Uh huh. And I likened it to um well i think this was partially we, we basically constructed this we could, uh, uh -huh. seasons of a show are uh. like laps in a nascar race yes no matter what you always have to get back to the end end of the season start of the season same place things can change of course take damage over the course of the of the lap uh-huh but roughly you end up where you start roughly now, this season of Ruby, mm -hmm. you, you know how a NASCAR track usually is, right? It's a nice oval. You make a left turn. You make a left turn. Ruby decided, or this season decided, hey, you know, you know the Mario 64 slide? Very specific. What if we just, uh, because it's something that a lot of people will know about. I know. What if we just went through the shortcut? Not not the not the not the not the castle slide, but the cool cool mountain slide. What if we just took the shortcut through the through the in illusory wall? What if we just turned right in a NASCAR race and just went through the wall? We didn't crash and explode. As that as you would expect to happen. I expected if such a right turn to occur, it would just be like, oh, and it's exploding, and then the corpse of the car will continue to turn left again, because they fucked up. And like, well, yeah, yeah. What happens when you run? When you go left? When you go turn right? When you're supposed to turn left, man? They went through. They went through. But they went through. <laughs> and they ended up at the at the finish line, and nobody saw how we got there. In the greater scheme of the race. But the driver seemed happier at the end of it. Cause they cause they cause they took a shortcut. And he's just like you, you can't you can't do that. That's not how that's this not how that, that's not how that works. That breaks the rules of storytelling. For real. I've never seen this shit before. So I'm gonna explain this. At the end of the last season of Ruby, through a bunch of stupid shit, like a bunch of stupid shit, they ended up falling through a falling in Gagunga Gap. Which is the, the, the yeah. void between worlds. Yeah. And I was like, all right. Shit's gonna happen. That's crazy. All right. Anyway, now we're in Wonder what? Now we're in Wonderland. You're like, I'm sorry. What where? You know, the mashup of all you know, fancy bull storytelling bullshit. You know, Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, that kind of thing. There's a tin man over there. Yeah, we have to uh, specifically be in like the nineteen thirties. There's yeah. a Cheshire cat over there. Um and you're just like this uh i know that was the themes of ruby but that's that's not how this is though we're like yeah anyway we're here now uh gotta get home though like hey okay. <laughs> uh-huh are we gonna have flashbacks to the real one no but oh, oh okay but important shit was happening oh yeah sure is and this place no makes no sense. Like, yeah, there's even an eat me cookie, because because a bunch of characters got turned small. I didn't tell you that, but a bunch of characters got turned small because of magic. Sorry, did I say 1930s? I meant 1860s. I was about to say that's a bit too late. Uh, we got there. And then and then they have I to eat like a magic sundae to grow to grow big again. Yeah, sure. And I'm like, uh, uh, and this is a talking teapot. And all sorts of shit. And I'm like, what, 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 huh, what? But Wizard huh? of Oz is 1930s, so I yeah, did get true. that one. Oh, just was this about, like the movie or the original conception of the book? Because the book's way older than that. I think. I don't know. 1900s for the book. I okay. was thinking of the movie. I didn't know it was based on a book. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The original book has way weirder shit. In it. That's fine. 1900s for the book. Yes, yeah, it's more it's interesting. And it's just like, did you? And then the whole season goes by. You're like, all right, we sure did have our emotional catharsis that we were that we desperately needed throughout these seasons. We literally had no time. 
All right, step through the portal. We're going back home to confront the badness. And I'm just like, do you, is this a, is, did you do a, a anime, an anime, a D and D one shot in the middle of our serious campaign because it was Halloween? And you, and you had an idea for a Halloween one shot? So and like, it was I, canon. I know we were in the fucking forest, but anyway, that's a you you woke up in, in it, the front of a and, castle. And it canonically took place right where you would really hope it didn't. Which is mid dungeon. Mid dungeon, yeah. You woke up like, oh man, it was a good long rest. Hey, what's that closet over there? <laughs> and like, for some reason you all are drawn to it. Hey, can we get some wisdom? No. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Yes. You failed. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't roll yet. You failed. You failed. The 62. That's the same. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, you're not rolling. Man. And no, the only critical success is on attack rolls, bitch. <sighs> Man. Why are you scowling? Are you okay? <laughs> I, I can't convey the DM being angry through anything but the scowl. Okay. But it, okay. now we just have to describe it. Okay, all right. <laughs> scowling at your mic. I'm like, well, are you okay? You have a memory? No, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, all right. You, you fucking flashing. Are you flashing back? Nope. Anyway, and I'm just like that. You can't. You just put the whole story on hold. And the only time they can, like, oh no, this, this fantasy world is connected to the main plot. Is at the last five minutes at the on the last episode. I was just like, you can't, you can't, you can't do that. That doesn't make any sense. I described it as, hey, that's a nice like second or third draft of your story for the for the next season. Like you got all the all the character writing out of the way. Uh -huh. Now just put it back into the plot. Uh huh. What do you mean you're not going to put it back into the plot? No, this is it. This is it. Can't do that. that and also, nice. they they make up a bunch of shit for the express purpose to have like for that to drive character arc bullshit, but that doesn't make any sense either. Jean, blonde boy Jean, he he falls down to Fantasyland first. He finds some fucking time, like some like truly was not was Oz fucking Alice in Wonderland as bullshit. Like here's a. Here's a fruit that has a clock in it. And I'm like, uh huh. And he picks it, and then time just fucking starts going backwards until he breaks it. And he's like, oh no! I'm fucking now. I'm three years before we fell. <laughs> I'm like, so I have to wait here and have my own sadness parade and have some coping mechanisms that we're gonna have to deconstruct later. <laughs> it's a good time all around. Cool. I was like, no, kid. So yeah, that as 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 an example, because you know Richard didn't go into all details, and we're not we don't have time to go into all details of oh, this season. Yeah, those are the broad strokes. Yeah, here's the problem. And this is where it gets into it. It was it was really good. Like the time into the the right in the right hand zone it was like, fuck, it's good in here. Oh no! Like I said, <laughs> like I said, you found the shortcut in the slide. You found the shortcut in the slide. It's, Why is finding it the good? shortcut is great. Why is it good? But you Don't can't be, be doing that. Good. <laughs> you can't do this shit and pay it to be good. You're making me confused. <laughs> you can't do that. You're like, hey man, you want to see a character beaten down so hard by emotional trauma through through the inexplicable power up of a supervillain that we were using here for some reason that it will that will drive the main character, the happy go lucky anime girl, and be like. Fuck it, take me out, baby, and just commit suicide on screen. And I'm just, I'm watching it going like, what the, what the fuck, man? I uh, just, I'm almost on the verge of tears because it's really good. Like, I can feel the pain in that voice actress's fucking performance. She has a line where she's like, I just don't want to be me anymore. And looks her family and friends in the eye before she fucking eats the, eats the pill. And I'm like, holy shit, that's so good. We see the breakdown of John as he's fucking dealing with like his repressed emotions after fucking 30 years of failing over and over and over again what <laughs> reflecting the bullshit he had to do in remnant and i'm just like oh my god 
these characters in so much fucking turmoil. And I'm just over there in like with a box of popcorn, like, holy shit. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Show me your pain. <laughs> I'm like, ah, and then I look around, like, yeah, still, it's still in Fantasyland, huh? But they're breaking down on screen mm -hmm. in the middle. I'm just like, oh, this is so good. Yeah, I like I said. Like I, I love said, emotional pain. Like I said, they got the they got the character writing good. Then they just all they had to do was just the final step. They didn't do the final step. Yeah, because the final step would integrate that with the bullshit that's already happening. That's way too hard. So what you got that stuff? I can't tell you how good that emotional breakdowns are. Like, no, that's I, fine. And I'm a I'm a real big fan of emo like I like seeing characters get fucking hurt, get fucking blasted. Emo physical pain is like yeah sure everyone can relate to that. But when you go for the heart, when you go for just like I'm gonna, I'm gonna reflect all your fucking failures back in your face, and I'm gonna psychologically damage you. I'm like now I'm interested. Tell me more. Tell me more. That's a whole book series I read. <laughs> Not the Dresden file. It's a whole series about just that. It's awful. I love it. <laughs> never seen that shit. It Ruby never fails to fucking not surprise me. But either with like, oh that was pretty alright. I'm like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Like, ooh, that was bad. Then that was bad than like, worse than I thought it would be. Oh, that's really worse than I thought it'd be. Oh, it just keeps getting worse. Holy shit. I gotta see how much worse it gets. Wait, what do you mean it was good? What's going on? <laughs> And that was Ruby. Anyway, did you not want to watch the movie? What the the the, the movie? Do you not want to oh, watch yeah. the movie? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> nope. No clever remarks for you. Alright, anyway, now get back in there. Oh, man. Alright, you did it. A platypus? It could be. Right before. No. Damn it. Platypus? It's a platypus. Uh, okay, I see it. It's Perry the platypus. I got this one. All right. What do you got this one? Okay, diagonal. Oh, diagonal. Oh, no. That should tell you all you need to know. Did you not? What happened? You fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You just said it was an ugly piece of shit, not- Yep, nope, this platypus is growing on me. It's just for convenience. Alright, okay, I guess that's good enough. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna see this- see him being a teenage piece of shit right now? Let's go, is this gonna be a- the- the prologue for a fucking romantic comedy where he gets dared to- God damn it, I- I- before I even said it, it was already starting to happen. I have to talk faster. <laughs> <laughs> you can't outspeed the game. Uh, anyway, what's going on? Hey, maybe I don't want to be a huge piece of shit. <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? 
Oh wait, no, he actually won. Yeah, that no, it's day. fine. Okay, that's fine. It's all right. You just, you just fucking pretend nothing happened and you cry on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> Damn. Well, she tells someone that I, that you, I shot my shot and then got fucking rejected. I can't handle that. I'm a teenager. Actually, I say that a lot of people can't handle that. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Twitter. <laughs> I've seen the internet. I've seen Reddit. <laughs> Once or twice. I can't, people can't deal with that stuff. Yeah. Why would she yell at you? <laughs> don't be, don't be a bitch. <laughs> who would? Yeah, exactly. Who? Who would even do that? <sighs> it's fine. What, she was she fucking anime? Why would she throw a book, literally throw the book at you? Because she'll throw the book at you. Don't even have a helmet. <laughs> Straighten out that spine. Yeah, you tell him! Yeah, funny, you it'd tell be, him! It'd be funnier if they could hear him. I can hear you just fine. Yes. <laughs> You're disturbing me. Just start. Just, just sweating over there. I just sweat bullets. <laughs> uh, 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 tell me about yourself. To read, I like to read. <laughs> I'm reading a book, man. If, if man, if we didn't know she had she had a condition, I would I would be like, oh man, she's really loose. She is not giving you a fuck. Go, go, go away. You're clearly bothering the girl. About platinum. Slap his fucking face, yeah. Doctor Watt. I heard this man. Yes. I see a sprite. Hey, it's a book about lighthouses. There are exactly sixteen second-order Fresnel lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, okay. Watch a movie together. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a okay. I can't. No date or time. Oh boy. Okay. for you think I'm gonna call out how utterly awkward that was oh forget it 
I'm not giving in to your expectations. Yeah, remember, right? You can, you can practically see the snail trail of sweat here. Damn, what the fuck? Holy shit! Why are you get he's getting called out today? What's going on? What's that supposed to mean? Listen, we know you're a loser. <laughs> Shut up isn't my name, you know. Oh, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle. No, not really. Never mind. Still ugly as shit. Holy shit, my guy! Did you botch that or what? <laughs> I did it though! <laughs> no! You, you fucking squirmed under her sight! That's what happened! <laughs> oh yeah? He's gonna do it. Don't, don't, don't do that. No, just yell exactly that. Don't, don't do that. Just exactly those words. <laughs> In that order. Yeah, I know that sucks, but one better than that you did. Like, oh, don't. Damn. Stop calling. Come on. I'm trying out here. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, no, I'm gonna get past you. <laughs> and suddenly, I. <laughs> So love. Yeah. Fine. All right, what's going on? Hey, now it's art class. Oh yeah, art class. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. Yeah. Therefore, we're all very big da Vinci. What? Yeah. Who are you? It's the art teacher. Okay. <laughs> Class is stupid. Yeah, it's art. It's art, though. It's fine. It's only fun if you already know how to do it. But I don't give a shit, though. Slap, just slap that straight into chicory. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking magnificent art, chick pancakes. That's why that's my character. What was you? What was yours? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. There it is. Mac and cheese. Oh god, this place is big. Well, you got gotta find three more mementos. I can't pop these soap bubbles. Yeah, it only works in the one place. Oh no! She's heading straight for us! Oh, t oh. Guy, guy, oh boy. <laughs> Gonna read that note, let's go. <laughs> Lifesaver! All right, I'll wait. Hmm? Oh dear, oh dear! Like, uh huh. Anyone? Anyone at all? Don't, you can't rely on that shit. It never works, no one wants to be nothing. All right then. Ripper, why don't you answer? I know you know. I Tell me your secrets. I can smell it. This is blow. Wait, what? Smell it. I can smell your knowledge. We're waiting, River. Finally, I supposed to. <clears throat> 
He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alvar Perez de Guzman, who was at the marriage of 14 by the... Yeah, I only asked for the date! They won't tell us what it is. <laughs> What's the name of it? So I can think about getting mad once more. <laughs> Only the game to call you out again. That's fine. Don't leave me a suspense about it, though. Oh no, you you get you get to just be suspended. Sounds better be um better next time. You have. Haha, <laughs> nailed it, children. Ha, <laughs> stupid children, stupid. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Lamp shading. Got to, got to do so many push ups, bruh. Andy. Yeah, yeah. I, wait, why is it in the fucking gym? What do you mean? That's where all the music performances take place. We only have one building for this sort of thing. Okay. What do you think we got a music hall? What do you think this is? Damn. Can I pop these people? No. Unique. Uniquely boring. Got him! Look at her! Just look at her. She's so boring with her fucking flowing red hair. <laughs> and focused gaze. <laughs> and that creepy deformed duck. That's the platypus in broad. But making shit up. You know what? You know that that can't take place in our time. That if this was, you know, because this is our time, like, oh, it's a pl oh, like Perry the Platypus. Got it. That will. Be okay, okay. No, wait, no, it wouldn't. If Anne Forth was in Vogue when they were in college. Yeah, it's it's a little earlier than that. Okay, that's fine. Or no, it wasn't. This was Animorphs when they were children. God, yes. So this should definitely know what a fucking platypus is. But then again, this game came out in 2003. What? Thirteen. No, this game. The game itself came out in 13? Maybe 2011. Okay. Somewhere in there. I can look that up, too. I know she's so otherworldly. I I gotta know more. Why don't you just go hang out with Emo's golf ceiling? Twenty eleven. Oh okay. I like my hair color. Yeah, back we got a name. We can label them. I don't know what she is. They. It, it attracts me. <laughs> I don't want to be generic. Guess what, buckaroo? Look at your sprite. Uh-oh. Why'd the music stop? Because there's something weird, man. Hey, Mr. 
do you even know if she wants to be different or she just is? Dang. Are you a teenager? You have you saying some kind of sore insightful shit right now? What's going on? It's it's not super clear. I need different. She's the one who has it. Again, like, yeah. oh no, this kid's making sense. From here? Is this kid? Was this the same guy who was just going like, go do it, bullshit? Yes. <laughs> Damn. Damn. And, oh, that's just something grandmas tell you. No one's a special snowflake. They're all born pieces of shit. I mean, look at them. Look at them. Oh, White guy, brown hair. Oh, wait. You can't. Because they're all shadows. All persona shadows is true. Sorry, persona NPC shadows are actually different. Like, about it. <laughs> Bob, at least the persona ones have color. 